channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we're gonna do a get ready with me that is chock full of great news. So I think I might as well just get into it. Like I think I just need to jump right in. All right, you guys, the topic of conversation in this video is A, it cosmetics, friends and family sale, and B, we bought a house. What? Danny's gonna be moving? What's gonna happen to this? Oh, we're talking about it. We are talking about it. But before we get into it, I do wanna say a special thank you to It Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. Today we are going to do our two week check-in after using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. We talked about this two weeks ago. I told you guys I was gonna do the test for you. And basically, this is It Cosmetics' newest sorceress product. What is the sorcery? Where you are supposed to see visible results in your skin, in the condition of your skin, in just two weeks. Y'all, it is chock full of great ingredients for your skin, like hyaluronic acid and vitamins. It does like a gentle daily exfoliation or every time you use it. My favorite part about this foundation is that it doesn't matter if I wanna do a full phase of foundation or if I just wanna spot conceal. It's one of those products that you forget you're wearing it on your face. The good thing is that it makes your skin look smooth and seamless and just porcelain perfection. The bad news is you forget to wash your face. Don't do that. Don't be that girl. <laughs> All right, you guys. Today we're here with the Get Ready With Me, but I did want to remind you guys, or actually, I wanted to congratulate the winners of our giveaway in the last video. It's so exciting. So It Cosmetics, thank you for taking such good care of my pandas. Y'all are the best. So It Cosmetics is currently hosting their friends and family sale, which means that select products are 25% off. Unfortunately, this foundation is not included in the friends and family sale, but they did give me a special code for you guys to get 10% off. It's not an affiliate code, I'm not making commission. However, it is a 10% off code. So if you guys were on the fence, you entered the giveaway and you, or you didn't have Twitter or whatever, if you guys were on the fence, there is a code listed in the description box below. I think it's Danny M 10 that's gonna get you guys 10% off this foundation. But you guys are here to see the two week check-in. You're like, show us your naked face. Y'all, I'm never embarrassed to be naked around you. My face, don't, don't get it twisted. Just my face. Y'all are gonna see the raw goodness that's how it's happening right here. Before before all of this, you're gonna see the raw goodness. So if you guys wanna hear all about the house purchasing and all about the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care, all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am here for my official two week check-in after using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. We talked about this a little bit in a video a few weeks ago, two weeks ago precisely. Actually, when I'm filming this versus when I filmed that one, it has been two weeks, but in like camera time or editing time, it might be a little bit longer but it's an official two weeks lapse. If you guys are wondering, I'm in the shade Light Warm 23. And in that video, we kind of talked about in detail about this foundation, the Radiant Finish. It comes in 40 shades. It is a foundation with medium to buildable coverage that feels so lightweight on the skin. The best way I can describe it, do you guys remember old school YouTube, maybe eight to 10 years ago, when those water foundations were really popular, where it was a full on like water, water solution. There was no viscosity to it. It was just full on water. It had little beads in it and it was just water and pigment. That's how it feels on the skin. Once you put it on, you forget you're wearing it. Now, the thing about this product is that at your two week mark, you should have a noticeable difference in the way your skin looks or the health of your skin. So I wanted to test it out for you guys and I showed you guys a bare face in that video and I'm showing you guys a bare face here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the last maybe month, or so, none of my videos are filtered anymore. So this camera had a little trick that it would do where it smooths out your skin. I turned it off. I was like, what's the point of using this? Cause that's not what my face looks like. So I'm gonna bring you guys in, prepare yourselves, brace for impact. You're about to see the porridge. Um, ready? Oh, all right. 
So there is my face up close. The claims of this foundation are that it improves the appearance of your skin, the appearance of your pores. It has moisturizing ingredients like hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. It also has some vitamins and it also provides a gentle exfoliation the longer you use it. So I wanted to show you guys up close. I have been struggling with a lot of blemishes in this area. You can still see there are some little marks left behind from breakouts that I got thanks to having to wear face coverings all the time. But this is what we're working with now. I'm really proud of this product. I feel so invested in it. I noticed myself, even on days where I didn't wanna do my makeup, it was very easy for me to just grab a little pump of this on the um, Skin Smoothing Complexion number 704 brush. I noticed myself just grabbing a little dab of it and just kind of spot concealing with the foundation. It's kind of, it's just, it's so comfortable to wear. You completely forget you're wearing it. I'm so excited of those of you that won the giveaway because I got so many direct messages on Twitter and Instagram and you guys were like, I won, I won, oh my God, I'm so excited. And it's really cool for me to be able to talk about a product that I love and also a product that comes in such a wide range of shades so that everyone can play at the playground, you know? All right, you guys, today we are going to get ready. And I did get this question a lot of, do I use primer or can you use primer with this foundation? You can, but you don't have to. I don't like to. I just like it to be directly on my skin. Now I do use sunscreen as my moisturizer, my daily moisturizer. So I do my sunscreen, I let that kind of soak in, and then once I'm getting ready or I'm going to, going to apply my foundation, then I go in with this brush. You could use a beauty sponge. You could even use your hands. Do you guys remember long time ago, I mean back in the day when my mom used to do her makeup and I used to look up at her. There wasn't a very long amount of time where I had to look up at her because I'm almost six feet tall and she's barely five feet tall. <laughs> but back in the day, when I used to look up at my mom getting ready, you guys see, isn't that crazy? Look at how easy it applies. I think when you can find a foundation that works well with beauty sponges, brushes, and your hands, you have a winner. Because guess what? You're out of town, you packed your favorite foundation, and you forgot your sponge, you forgot your brush. It doesn't matter because it's still going to look amazing. And I really like that it does come in a variety of undertones. So you're not just going to have your light, medium, deeps. It's like light neutral, light warm, light uh, cool. So it covers all bases. I told you guys in the intro of this video that this video was super excited for me because of two special announcements. I'm pretty sure you can't get over one of them. Yes, it Cosmetics friends and family sale. Just kidding. You probably are wondering, what? Oh my gosh, tell us all about it. Okay, you guys, so I told you in a couple of weekend vlogs ago that uh, finding a house was starting to become such a chore and it was very difficult and it was hard because we just want to do a good job you know we want to do a really good job and we want to make sure that we find a place that feels comfortable and safe and that everyone in our family including the dogs have a place for them and so finding that ask is a big challenge because we have two little boys two teenage girls and four senior pets so four senior pets, which I'm sure you hear in all of my videos because these guys cannot keep quiet. So yeah, finding a place for all of us, you know, I work from home. So as much as I don't need a place like this to be able to work, it is nice because being an adult with ADD, it's a very hard for me to focus if I can't shut myself in and force myself to get things done. And so I'm always the person that is thinking about the million things that I need to do the next day and the next day and the next day. Uh, it's very hard for me to be in the moment. In the present moment, it's very, very difficult. So I need, <laughs> I need to baby-proof myself in ways. So it was like, we all had our wish list um, in terms of what we wanted for this house and it started to get pretty difficult. And I think it was mostly because there isn't a lot of, um, inventory right now. Apparently the market is hot. I don't know what that means, but apparently the market is hot and there's not a lot of inventory. So we were starting mm. to get a little bit, just a little bit hopeless, a little bit, not completely. You guys know, I hold on to hope. Like I'm like falling off a cliff, you know, Adrian, like <laughs> that's me holding on to hope. So I was like, you know what? And after talking to my friend Nusha, 
she said, you know what's funny? When we were trying to get a house for her and her two boys and her husband, when we were trying to get a house, it was so hard. It was so hard. It was so hard. But the right house for you is always going to be there waiting for you. No matter how many offers you submit and how many houses you see, the house that is meant for you is going to find you or rather you're going to find it. It's just waiting for you. And that's exactly what happened with this one. We saw a bunch of houses. We were a little underwhelmed. Um, some of them needed too much work and we kind of want something that's moving ready because we want to just hit the ground running. You know, we want to hit the ground running and do Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and start this new chapter of our lives together with the kids and the dogs and everything. And so Parker and I are very diligent when something's on our mind or something is on our radar. We are very proactive and we try to be hands on and participate and just get involved right away. And that's kind of what we did. And so we were kind of browsing in the neighborhood we wanted to look, live in and, you know, picking out houses. And even though I'm working with a fantastic agent, I mean, do you ever meet someone and you hire them to do a job for you, but you see yourself ultimately developing a friendship with them. And that's how I feel about my uh, realtor. And so she was doing her due diligence, um, sending us properties and stuff like that. And we would go see properties and see them and, and like things about them. But for some reason, it just, something, something was off, something was missing. You know, we just kind of had this roller coaster of emotions, like up, down, up, down, excited, not excited, excited, not excited. Then you see something in pictures and you're like, oh my God, this is it. This is perfect on paper. And you see it in person and you want to vomit. <laughs> it was so, it's just, it's so bizarre. Home buying is so emotional. I actually had this conversation with a friend of mine named Isabel and she's actually in the process of buying a home too. She also lives here in uh, the Dallas area. She was telling me how sad she was because she put in an offer on a house that she, she was convinced this was the house. This was our house, this is the one, this is it. I hope our offer gets accepted. I just, I got the feeling when I walked into the house. It just, it needs to be this house. And it's, it's very, the best way I can describe it, it's like when you're lonely and you want to meet someone and you go on a million dates and every date you're going to go on, you're like, this is it. This is my last first date ever. This is it. This is my last first date ever. But your offer doesn't get accepted or the house needs a lot of work or the, you realize the house is not in the neighborhood you thought it was. And it's like you get super excited and then you break your heart and you break your own heart, right? Because no one, you haven't seen the house, so there's no way you can be this excited. Or nothing's for sure when you're purchasing a property. You know, it's not for sure until you're sitting there with the title company closing on the house. Nothing is for sure, nothing is a given. And so she was telling me how she was so disappointed because her offer didn't get accepted. And she said, hey, you know, I know you found a house. Did you get the feeling? And I was like, what, what, what feeling? you know, the feeling when you walk in and you're like, this is my house. And I've purchased three homes in my lifetime and I've never gotten the feeling in the house. And I think for me, it's because I view this whole process as like, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I just switched up colors. I went from using the Brow Power Pencil in Universal Taupe, and now I'm using Universal Blonde. So I do the outline in a darker shade, and then I fill it in with a blonde, and then brush out the color to kind of just blend it out. I usually don't do my brows on camera, but I wanted to just kind of keep in the, you know, keep in the groove. I felt like we're, ha we're having a moment right now, so just gotta keep going with it. Yeah, I, I've, I've purchased three homes in my lifetime and I never get the feeling. And I feel like for me, the feeling comes way down the road when we put up our first Christmas tree together or when we pick up paint colors or you bring your baby home from the hospital and you know, you're sitting in your living room for the first time and everything is right in the world. For me, when you buy a home, it's, it's an investment. It's a major, major purchase that is an investment property. And if you get super emotional in an actual physical thing like that, it's very, there's a very high probability that you're gonna be disappointed or it's gonna break your heart. And so I was telling Isabel, I'm like, you gotta just keep an open mind, keep an open heart. I said, it's a smart purchase. It's a good investment. 
It's something that is going to provide shelter and safety for your family. But the feeling comes later. It comes when you make your very first meal together and you're all sitting at the dinner table laughing and having a good time or you know your very first birthday party there. And so, yeah, of course I love the house. Of course it's perfect. There's a place for everyone and it has gas in the kitchen, which I was telling you guys, I need to cook with gas. I need a gas range. Don't give me electric. That's not cooking. <laughs> That's sorcery, <laughs> give me fire. And so it has the gas range and it has the backyard that Parker always wanted. So it's, it's awesome. Every one of the kids has their own room, which my oldest son is starting to get a little nervous about because he's really enjoyed sharing with his brother. So I think the only area that's gonna stress me out a little bit is figuring out the dogs because we've been so blessed living in this home that they have their own room. Like, they have their own room where we could literally shut them in, close the door, and let them go to bed. And they're senior pets, they go to bed early, they get up early, and I'm very nervous on how we're gonna figure that out because there is no extra room in this house, there's no extra storage. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be tricky, but the most important thing here is that we're all gonna be together and it's gonna be a fresh start and it's a beautiful home and it's basically move and ready. Like, we need to do two things and it's paint my studio. I wanna do the same exact color in there. Y'all, we are having bro technical difficulties today. But we're just gonna try our best because this is a great video and it's a great story and, and it's exciting and it's full of great news. So yeah, I wanna bring this exact backdrop into the new place. I don't have such big space. Here in this property, in this house, I'm filming in a media room, which is very common in Texas. A media room is almost like if you have a tiny movie theater inside your house, but I converted it into just a giant studio. It's very big, it's very generous, but in this other house that we bought, the media room is actually gonna be Bonus Baby Senior's room. So I wanna bring the same concept. Designing this background with Parker together and you know, building it together and decorating it together is a really good memory of mine. Every time I walk into this room, I feel inspired. And being a, you know, a hard two and a hard Sagittarius, I need to be inspired in every direction. It makes me happy. If I'm around a lot of sadness or anger, I get sad and angry, so I absorb things. And so if I create an environment like this that makes me happy and makes me feel motivated, it's so important. And so I wanna bring this entire concept over to the new house. So we need to paint that room and then we need to paint Bonus Baby Senior's room. But other than that, everything is good to go. Everything is great. We need to set up like a little dog fence in the backyard because there's this little area it totally looks as if it was designed specifically for dogs. It is fabulous, it's perfect. I know the dogs are gonna completely go bonkers over it. I know I am because they love to sunbathe and just having this little area specifically for them, I think they're gonna be very excited. Anyway, you guys, I wanted to update you guys because it's super exciting, but it's also gonna be very stressful and you know, moving to homes, and condensing properties and things like that, it's gonna be a little hard to keep a really, really tight schedule here, a really specific schedule. So I think for a while it's gonna be a little spotty. I'm trying not to, you know, I'm trying to just kind of ride the wave, but there's so much stuff that comes up and just kind of gets in the way. And uh, Parker and I had a really awesome conversation a few days ago where he's like, hey, have you ever thought about um, how this move is gonna affect your channel or the family. And I was like, uh-oh, we're having the talk. We're finally having the talk where he's like, we need our privacy. You know, that's what I was waiting for. I'm gonna go in with this blush. Y'all, as soon as like the, the weather drops like to 70 or lower, I bust out this blush. It's my favorite one ever. It's called Pink Grapefruit. So I was like, you know when you kind of sit there and you're like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> And I was like, what, what do you mean? He's like, well, you know, we're moving into a new place. It's gonna be a new environment. It's gonna be a new background. It's gonna be a new um, setting, like a new setting for you and your content. He's like, have you ever thought about other ways we can like work it in, like work in the move to your content? I'm like, oh wait, you mean include it? And he's like, yeah, this is a family business now. And if you can find a way to include this new change of our lives into your content, I would completely support you. I was like, aw. 
So I don't know, man. Maybe we can start talking about other stuff like um, decorating or organizing. This new place, you guys, I'm such a dork, but I'm so excited about this. This new place actually has um, open cabinets. So the kitchen has cabinets that have those glass panes through it. So Parker is going to be immensely triggered um, if it's not alphabetized, labeled properly. If you guys think that I am an organization freak, meet my Virgo five. <laughs> he is a hard Virgo, a hard number five on the anagram and stuff like that. Like he can't go to sleep with dishes in the sink. I am definitely like that, but I also realized I was looking at my birth chart and I'm a huge, like a big part of me is also a Virgo. So I really like what we did with our face today, you guys. Yeah, it's looking good. But you know what? I usually do my eyes before my face, but I was in such a zone right now that I forgot. So we're gonna have to be very careful when we do eyeshadow so that we don't mess up what we got going on. I thought I would bust out oldies but goodies, hence this blush, one of the best highlighters in the entire universe. My favorite palette ever. That's a big statement, you guys. We're gonna go in with Tempera, flat shader brush, Oof, you guys, I'm gonna get eyeshadow all over my face. I love this brow bone highlight because it is a little bit shimmery. I don't know, it's like the perfect hybrid of a satin slash, it's like a shimmery satiny matte. Just, just trust me on this. Did you hear they're gonna come out with a mini, like a mini modern renaissance? I think I kind of want it. I don't need any more makeup, y'all. What was I telling you guys? It was very important. Oh yeah. So I'm trying to figure out a way where we can organize those cabinets where they're aesthetically pleasing. I never thought I would be the kind of influencer that uses the word aesthetic because I think it's pretentious and obnoxious. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> but I need it to be soothing and pleasing for my husband so that he's not triggered every time he's in the kitchen. Although, hear me out on this. If he feels triggered every time he's in the kitchen, then he won't be in the kitchen. <laughs> I always tease Parker because he's like this little boy. Have you guys seen the video? It's on Instagram. It went completely viral. There's a little boy, he's probably three, and he's in the kitchen cooking with grandma and they're baking and she puts butter in the bowl and he grabs the butter and eats it. Flour in the bowl, grabs the flour and eats it. Like anytime there's an ingredient poured in the bowl, he like, he fights his way to like eat the ingredients. It's hysterical, but also like a little disturbing. That's Parker in the kitchen. He's like, hey Parker, can you help me cut the onions? He cuts the onions, eats a piece. Hey, can you help me wash the grapes? Washing the grapes, eating the grapes. Like for me, that is a huge no-no, but only because my background is in culinary arts and nutrition. So I practice extreme, um, extreme, extreme, um, like hygiene protocols. Like, I mean, I'm certified, right? Like I'm a certified food handler. So there are certain things that, that I don't do like reuse towels on certain surfaces or I wash my hands every time I change ingredients and that's just my wiring. And so when I'm seeing somebody chop and then eat, chop, eat, I'm like, <laughs> We're all gonna get sick. All right, I don't know what color I should use next. I think I'm gonna go with this smaller blending brush and the shade Golden Ochre, just to create some smooth blendiness. I need you guys all to just be quiet just for a second. Do you hear the snoring? It's my 14 year old Joelle. <laughs> My 14 year old Chihuahua, he's so cute. Oh yeah, this color is perfection. Do you see how it kind of grabbed at the highlight and just kind of brought it down in a very nice blendy way? Oh, I love it. Perfect, golden ochre. You know what, golden ochre reminds me of Kid, Mac Kid. Oh, best eyeshadow in the whole world. Single eyeshadow, the best single eyeshadow in the whole world is Mac Kid. I have a couple of backups because they discontinued it and then they brought it back, but Mac's not cruelty free anymore. We, we just, we don't need to talk about it. We just, let's just not, let's not talk about, about stuff that's disappointing when we're having such a great time, y'all. Anyway, so yeah, it's so exciting. If you guys wanted to see how stuff, maybe, um, I don't know. I, I don't even know what we would cover as, as much as it just would be like, hey, we're moving. Hey, this is an empty house. Hey, this is how I'm painting my studio. Oh, hey, you know what? 
Uh, I have zero storage, so I'm going to show you guys how I hide things in plain sight. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> very, very exciting adulting content. All right, I'm going to go in with antique bronze. This is a little aggressive. I mean, it's Sunday at like 8 in the morning, but, but we're doing it because... YOLO. I, you know what? We need to bring YOLO back. I don't think people say it enough anymore and it kind of hurts my feelings. We need to bring back the YOLO. Yeah, you guys. So anyway, I wanted to, I wanted to update you guys on that. Got a house. Bonus baby senior got her braces off. Oh man, she looks so pretty. Even her voice changed. Isn't that weird? Even her voice changed. She sounds, she sounds grown up now. <laughs> I feel attacked. Um, she got her braces off. She has her little car. So many happy, good changes in the perfect timing, you know? It's like, uh, I always feel like I'm in a hurry to accomplish things. I always feel like I'm in a hurry to get somewhere, but the only one that's in a hurry is me. Everyone else's timing is just perfect, and I need to always remind myself of that. One of the most important lessons that someone taught me was um, Mr. Pitt. He's our dog boarder and dog trainer. Oh man, you guys, my camera stopped recording on me. I don't know what part we left off on. So anyway, the most important lesson that, that he taught me was you gotta be a little bit more like a dog. A dog isn't worried about where he's going tomorrow, if he's gonna go to the dog park or if he's gonna get walked. A dog isn't worried about what he's gonna eat later. All a dog is worried about is what's going on right now in this present moment, which is why they get so excited when they see you after you walk into a room because they're just in that moment. They're just in that specific, specific moment and you walk in and you made that moment in time so much more exciting because that's all they're thinking about, that moment in time. And he's like, if we as humans, as people, as adults, just focused on the now and let everything else just roll, we wouldn't be so stressed out, we wouldn't be so anxious, we wouldn't be so tired, you know, because we're, we're stealing tomorrow's joy by being stressed out and by worrying about tomorrow. We're stealing, we're stealing today's joy by worrying about tomorrow. And he's absolutely right. You know, when you see these dogs, they're just there. They're there for the moment. They're there for that instant gratification, that moment in time, that, you know, that fun memory they're going to create with you in that moment. And so it's just such a good thing to remember is everything that's meant to be for you is going to happen in the right time. Everyone you're supposed to meet, everyone you meet are people you're supposed to meet whether because they're teaching you a lesson or they are the lesson, you know, or they're going to change your life. But we really have to stay focused in the present. And it's so hard for me right now with all these moving pieces, with all the houses and everything going on, but it's all exciting. So the last bit of exciting news is we are taking the kids to see the house for the first time today. They haven't seen it. Parker and I made an agreement that we would purchase this house, just the two of us. We would decide on the house, just the two of us. We didn't want to involve the kids in the grueling process because they don't understand how complicated it is. And you know, like Isabel said, like how much it breaks your heart. We didn't want the kids involved in that. Plus we don't want them to um, really have too much say in the process because someone's going to get disappointed. Someone's going to feel like they're getting, um, I don't know, uh, a raw deal or something. <laughs> Although we have to say, or rather I have to say, our kids are absolutely fantastic children. They are smart. They are responsible. They are caring. They're patient. They're loving, they're honest, which is absolutely refreshing. One of, one of Parker's daughters, the youngest, is so sweet. You can tell, you can tell when she's going through the process of, oh, should I lie? I can't do it, Just can't, I can't do it. I did it, it was me. It's just so, these kids are good, you guys. We won the lottery with these kids and the least we can do is give them their own space in their own little happy corner in the house and hopefully 
y'all think about us today. Hopefully everything works out perfectly and everyone falls in love with the place. Because if they don't, it don't matter because we already bought the house. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go in with mascara, one of my favorites of all time. This is the Superhero Lash from It Cosmetics. I've told you guys this before. Whenever I tell you about this mascara, I'm like, listen, listen, do not try this mascara unless you want very loud, dramatic lashes. If you do not like the drama, if you do not like the dark, black, thick, almost spidery look, then, then, then don't, just don't, don't even play. Don't get in this playground because look at, that's one coat on half of my lashes. That's crazy. I love this mascara, you guys. It is so good. It is the perfect amount of dryness too, like moussey dryness. So some, y'all, his snoring is getting out of control. He's about to get kicked out. Look at that, one coat. Can you see? I'm terrible at showing you guys lashes. I'm like, <laughs> two-way check-in. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna jump off camera. I'll be right back. We'll finish lips and we'll finish this video, okay? All right, you guys, lips and we are finished. I'm sorry, do you do you wanna say something right now? You don't, you don't need to show everybody your haircut. Like, not everybody cares. All right, let's show everyone your haircut. In true Sophia fashion, she likes to say hello in these videos. I'm pretty sure she said hello in the other it video. Do you like it cosmetics? Yeah? Do you like that it has skincare in your foundation? Do you want to tell everyone Parker cut your hair yesterday? Look at what good of a job he did. Oh, no? Are you embarrassed? You just want to be held like a baby? Do you want to put on some lipstick? Want to put on some lip gloss? Hmm? A little rollerball lip gloss? Love you. All right, you guys, this is my favorite part of the video where I go from no lashes to lashes because I feel like it makes the biggest difference. I don't know why I had to make my voice so deep, but it's, just, it's all for effect. Do we need to talk about this again? I'm pretty sure they discontinued this product, which makes me very upset. This is Buxom Makeout. It is a plumping lip stain. I don't know about plumping because I don't think it really does that. But then again, I already have really big lips and I don't think I would notice the difference. <laughs> but a lot of people, a lot of people, there goes the deep voice again. A lot of people complained about this product. Hated it, it was in their misses, it was in their products I hate. Uh, someone even did a products that Danny made me buy and I hated it. <laughs> Felt attacked. So I love it. I could do without the flavor it has, but I love the uh, the span of this product. The, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's uh, like you can layer it and it gets darker. It has a slight shine to it, but it's not a gloss. This is gonna die down and it just gives you a sheen without the stickiness of a gloss. So your lips are gonna look shiny, but they're not gonna be sticky. It's sorcery, let me tell you. But yeah, the, the flavor, you know what the flavor reminds me of? <sighs> Judgment Free Zone. The scent or the flavor reminds me of car freshener. <laughs> That is exactly what it reminds me of. All right, you guys, that completes this Get Ready With Me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Customarily, in all these Get Ready With Me's, I do list a link all the products for you in the description box below. I will try my best to do so. Don't forget that It Cosmetics is currently hosting their friends and family sale where you will get 25% off select products. Now, this video was full of good news, but there is a little bit of mm, kind of good news. The um, It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care is excluded from the friends and family sale, but there will be a promo code here on the screen and in the description box below that will get you 10% off. So it's not completely excluded, you just won't get the full discount. So there will be a link in the description box below. I'll also write the code in the description box below. It is not an affiliate code, so I'm not making commission off the code, but it is working, so you wanna take advantage. So if you guys wanna shop It Cosmetics, they are having their friends and family sale, 25% off select products. 
I'm kind of wondering what I sh what I what I need for myself because I mean it's always a it's always a good time to get back up mascaras, right? Or maybe like if I get a tan, then I need a darker shade in this. Like, can I can I get a deep? All right, I just I need to stop. I'm I'm derailing. I'm derailing the outro as per usual. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for your support. If you had a great time, if I made you laugh, if Sophia's ponytail, she's trying to ambush my my outro again. If you guys had a good time, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with your friends. It means the world to me every time and any way you guys figure out ways to support me. You guys are absolutely awesome. I love you so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys!